Thank you for clicking on the webcast. I'm Joe Melillo. Here's the latest from WENY HD News and the Star Gazette. Elmira Heights School District leaders are back to the drawing board, trying to lower that tax levy. Last week's Elmira Heights original budget fell just short of the supermajority needed to pass. Now, leaders proposed a 6.9% tax hike. That exceeds the tax cap, hence the supermajority vote. Now, the board has three options. Put the same 6.9% tax budget up for a revote and hope voters just change their minds. Come up with a new budget or adopt a contingency budget. That has no tax increase. Last night, leaders decided to revise the budget and put it up again. They're aiming for a 5.4% tax increase this time. That's under the state's tax cap. The problem is it eliminates another teacher teaching position, field trips, and uses $20,000 from reserves. If they don't get the majority vote on the revised budget, the contingency budget kicks in, and that means a lot more cuts. The most important thing to take away from tonight is that we need to get people out to vote because if this budget does not pass, then the contingency budget will include significant cuts to the district. We have to be put our faith in the community that they will not want to affect the uh, contingency budget, which would really annihilate the district. Now, the board has to adopt the budget by June 3rd. They'll hold a public hearing on June 4th, and the statewide budget revote is on June 18th. Two New York state leaders are looking out for the little guys, small rural hospitals, that is. Congressman Tom Reed and Senator Chuck Schumer are advocating for the legislation to protect small rural hospitals. That's the Rural Hospital Act of 2013. It'll try to extend Medicare-dependent hospital program and the Medicare low-volume hospital programs through 2014. Both those are reimbursement programs, and that money is very important to the hospitals in our area. Reed says St. Joseph's Hospital in Elmira and Corning Hospital are Medicare-dependent hospitals, and IRA Davenport Memorial Hospital in Bath and St. James Mercy Hospital in Hornell are low-volume hospitals. Now here's meteorologist John Hickey with today's forecast. And a warm one it is, Joe. We're going to see temperatures today about 20 to 25 degrees warmer that we had out there yesterday. And as a result, we could see a couple of feisty thunderstorms popping up today as a weather disturbance rides through this very uh, air you can wear, so to speak. So we'll be looking out for that very closely. Heat really on, though, from Thursday into Saturday. We crank it up into the low 90s. Get ready for that. And then we're going to be monitoring a Sunday severe threat. Why am I so concerned about it now? Well, it could be a widespread severe weather event, so we're going to put the bug in your ear now and hope that changes, of course, but if it doesn't and we're going to see severe weather on Sunday, we've got you covered right here at WBNY. Future track forecast today, though, a lot of clouds going out there in the morning and a couple of leftover showers, but what happens this afternoon is we're going to see another weather disturbance cutting through this thick air mass and that could kick off some feisty thunderstorms. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center has once again put us in a Elevated risk for severe storms. The greatest threat for severe weather, though, likely to be up across the Mohawk Valley. For us in the southern tier and northern tier, uh, just looking for an isolated storm that could be on the stronger side. That's why we're going to have to just watch the radar very closely throughout the afternoon. For tonight, we'll see those storms come to an end. It's just going to be a humid one. And then there we go for Thursday and Friday. Just some real hot and humid air. We'll be into the low 90s, of course. Remembering all the heat tips, lots of water, uh, avoid caffeine, take it easy, find shade, et cetera, et cetera. Just get ready because we're starting to get into that more summer-like weather pattern. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, the heat continues into Saturday and then there are those storms for Sunday which usher in some much cooler air for next week. That's your forecast. Here's Joe. All right, John, thanks very much. For the latest news, weather and sports, be sure to watch WENY HD News at 536 and 11. Don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Joe Melillo. Have a great day.